in the bodybuilding industry, steroid using abusers are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the natural bodybuilder known as Halal Gaines shows his day to day life. These are his vlogs. Yo, what's good guys? Back in another video over here. And this is my chest day, my push day workout with the dumbbells to keep me progressing. I always alternate between the two, barbells and dumbbells. And whenever I, you know, do my push days, you'll see in like probably the next video I upload on how to, how I don't feel any shoulder pain. And one thing that I do on these days is well on all my workouts I always treat even the lightest weights as if they're heavy so you know it's it's fine for me right there I was actually just talking to my boy over there to the side but um yeah it's like you want to get your muscles ready for the exact movement you don't go down slowly and that push up fast you know you want to you want your breathing to be on to be pinpoint because you know breathing helps a ton when you're working out like a ton a lot of people don't know it but when you're breathing like you inhale down exhale up on your bench presses you know you do the same with your um squats and a lot of people don't know but breathing helps like even one time I actually messed up because I didn't breathe and I kind of just like blacked out and I could have hurt myself but ever since then I've been focusing on breathing a ton when I work out and I guarantee you if you focus on your breathing and stuff you will you know lift more weights or get more reps in or whatever you know and this right here just doing some 90s on the incline and I was pretty hyped that I got these for five and I don't even have my wrist wraps or my my elbow sleeves on. And after I noticed that, I was like, yo, I should go a bit heavier. Hit them hundreds. Go triple on them, man. Go triple digits on the incline, son. Huh? And mind you, this is only two weeks into my damn bulk. I was so hype after this. Right there, just getting mentally prepared. Right there. He just helps me up on the lift off because that's the hardest part. Bang, right there. He's not even helping me. I know his elbows are there, but it's 100 pounds. You need safety just in case. But yeah, he over there making sure I'm good. And yo, this is insane. I did not know I was going to be able to do hundreds when I first started. Couldn't even dream about that, honestly. And right here, after my my incline, I like I say in all my other push videos, I always do incline first because it's the hardest. And then I move on to flat. And right here, I'm going to do a 5x5. Five five. Usually, I do 80s. But I was like, yo, this is easy. Easy money sniper. No KD. But FKD now. He a little... But he's still nice, though. But, um, yeah, the 80s were easy. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just do the 90s 5x5. Five five. And that's what I did. So I did the... I worked my way up to go heavy on the incline. And then I did the 5x5 five five on flat. And... Damn, look at my legs. Them shits is bro. Like, you see them calves? Yeah. Alright, anyways. Um, yeah, so I did the 5x5s. Five five. You know, usually I do 5 And it helps a lot because I'm bulking. I'm eating more. So I'm able to do the 5x5s five five and stuff. But if I don't have enough energy, I would just do by 4s. 4 x four, 4 or something. So that's another thing. And also when you're doing your um, exercise, especially when you're heavy... And you want to get the weight up or back, you know, kick it back over here, kick it up for your shoulder presses. As you can see in all of them, you know, I have the weight on my knees. And what I do is, as I'm going back, I'm pushing my knees right there. So it brings it right up to my chest. It's a lot easier on the flat one because, you know, you keep it on your lower chest and then just push it up quick. But um, the other ones are a lot... Uh, more difficult like the shoulders which you'll see in a second and right there's the fifth rep and actually right here this was my last set 
I actually didn't get the fifth one. I'm pretty upset about that. See, there's one right there. That's two. That's three. Come on, that's four. Look at that. Shaky. That's five. Oh, actually, I did get five. Eh, not too bad. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, man. Anyways, um, right here, as you see, I kick it up with my knees. And then that's what you got to do because there's no way you're going to get it up from over there. Up, oh, that's what she said. You're not going to get it. All right, nah. You, so there's no way you're going to get it from there all the way up there without kicking it up. You know, so you want to kick it up, bring your knee to your chest, knee to your chest. And look, bam, bam. Well, I didn't go knee to chest, obviously, but, you know, you got to kick it up high so you can get it up there. And there you go. That's, that's my workout. I did the lateral raises, same thing as always. But, um, that's it. Yo, now, I'm not even vlogging, but now, technically I am, but finished that workout, went home real quick, had to cut it short, I didn't hit triceps, but I'll hit triceps later, right now it is, should check the time, oh, 218, it's backwards, but it's 218, and um, about to go to class, I got class at 4, I had to go to school in the city, so it's pretty far, that's so why I have to leave early, but I have a two hour break later, and since there's nothing much to study for because it's still the beginning of the semester and stuff I'll just hit triceps later and when I went home I just had had a protein shake and oatmeal get some carbs in and stuff and I am doing a lean bulk this time and I need to have 3,000 calories a day at the end of the day I'll show you my my, my fitness pal show you what I ate how much I ate and all that, excuse me. And I'll show you the Fit Notes app, showing you my whole workout. But um, yeah, about to get to school. Yeah, I gotta start holding it up right. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Yo, y'all see that nasty ass pimple? Damn, man. My beard ain't even lined up. Damn. It's whack. We good though. Shout out my sponsor. Right here, bodybuilding.com. My other sponsor. Right here, where is it? Nike. They be writing me checks. Alright, let me stop being stupid. I'll see you guys in the city. Gotta bring an extra shirt and I gotta do triceps and abs. Probably just some triceps, but I'm gonna try not to sweat. Well, I'm gonna eat this. There's a lot. Don't worry, I'll show you guys at the end how much it is. What's oh, good, y'all? Yeah. <clears throat> I just did this little workout real quick, but I'm gonna show you. Hold up. I'll just show you my entire workout for the whole, for the whole day, everything I did. So, first thing I did the inclined dumbbells I actually went to a hundred on here look at that pretty lit it's a new new record and then did the flat I went for a, I, I did 80s at first I thought I was gonna do the 80s 5x5 five five, then it seemed too easy so I just did 90s the last one I couldn't get to five and then I did the seated dumbbell presses usually the same workout as my other videos same exact thing and then triceps, I did this at the at my gym, and I just did this. It was a quick like 20, 30 minute workout, nothing crazy. 
I didn't really want to sweat because I forgot an extra shirt, but it's whatever. And then the overhead dumbbells, close grip bench, and then just the dips that I didn't do earlier. And my whole, my, my shit was shot. That's pretty good so far. Oh, let me show y'all my fitness pal too. Where it at? All right. Check this. So my goal is 3,100. The reason it says 23 is I already put everything. I have my oatmeal, my peanut butter and jelly right here. 12 ounces of chicken and my rice. I only eat half of that. And then I have, I took my protein shake, my whey, I mean my casein as a night. Um, I'm pretty full right now and I still gotta eat the other half of my rice and chicken. Whoa, yeah. And then on top of that, I need 900 more. 900 more calories bruh i'm about to just get some cookies and something from subway some quick calories i'll probably go to dunkin donuts get a everything baby go with strawberry cream cheese try it this shit is amazing but i'm gonna catch you guys later i'm about to just eat the remaining and watch something and yo this keeps me going don't waste time guys do not waste it. It's being sarcastic. Waste it while you still can. It's being sarcastic, right? So always be productive. Do work. Always. All right, later. Yo, out of class. It's dark. Real dark. And it's like 10 p.m. It takes me about an hour and a half to get home. If the train and bus comes on time. So. And I'm still about 400 calories short of my damn macros. I might go to Dunkin' Donuts and pick up a thingy. Everything bagel, strawberry cream cheese. Follow me on Snapchat so you can see how often I eat that. But um, and that's it for the day. The vlog. But I know I gotta make that chicken video on how I cook my chicken. Yo, who else be looking low? It's a one-way street. Who else looks both ways? Both ways crossing a one-way street. I am so used to that shit. Damn. But it's alright. Better safe than sorry. What if there's like a, a raccoon coming from one side? You know? I'd see it. But anyways. Hopefully I get home safe. And catch you guys in the next video.